Thank you for letting me speak today. In researching the Kiwanis Club, I found out that your club is very community-centered with the youth, with an emphasis on supporting youth. This rang true for me as a memory of, from my youth service from this, about the Kiwanis Club. I was 14 or 15, and I stood behind my friends for several hours while the Clinton Township Kiwanis had put on a haunted walk through the woods. It was a horror movie scene. We walked from each living scene to each living scene, and by far and away, it has been the best haunted attraction I have ever been to today. So this idea of providing activities for youth got me thinking. It's close to summer. The kids are going to have 12 weeks of freedom. What to do with it? Well, I don't know if you're anything like me, but I don't want to hear I'm bored from my kids. So today, I'd like to give you some fun ideas that are great on a budget. I'm going to tell you about some great local hikes, fun activities offered by local parks and libraries, and finally some great museums. While my topics are kid and family centered, they can be great for anyone from a single person to a grandparent, and the best part is they cost next to nothing. I have some pamphlets that I can pass out on information that I can um, that's cool. Okay, so we are very lucky living in the Pacific Northwest to have such a plethora of natural beauty to enjoy. Hiking has become a new passion of mine, and I'd like to share with you a few of my favorite places, a few of my favorite hiking spots. Hiking is a very is a great cost-effective activity, and most of these places only cost the gas to get there. A few things to remember if you're a first-time hiker. Go and group. Bring some water and a snack. And if you're going with small children, be sure to travel at their pace. The first hike I'd like to tell you about is Twin Falls in Olawi State Park in Des Moines, Washington. It is a beautiful hike up the hill along the Snoqualmie River to see the falls. Once you reach the top, there are benches to sit and view the falls or to enjoy a snack or picnic lunch. This hiking trail also connects with the John Wayne Interpretive Pioneer Trail for an additional hike. If the, fall, if the hike to the falls will look like In the pack, I have pictures from um, this hike as well. My next hike I'd like to tell you about is Saltwater State Park in Feather Way. This is a long hike in the forest. This is a narrow trail, and it winds through the woods over, over small streams. This state park boasts a playground, volleyball nets, beach, and barbecue areas. It's a great place to spend a nice summer day. But my personal favorite is the Olympic National Forest, specifically the three beaches in the bush. It is about a three-hour drive, but the scenery is gorgeous, and you'll hardly notice the time passing. First and second beach each have a trail that lead down to the beach through the old growth moors. Third beach is a mile long stretch of beach littered with bleached out logs. It is absolutely stunning and is my favorite day trip. Now what to do on those days when it's rainy or with any luck, too hot to hike? On those days when it's too hot to hike, you may want to cool off at the AC in your local library. Tacoma Public Library and the Pierce County Offer Library offer an easy and fun way to keep your kids reading for the summer. This program called One World, Many Stories is designed for kids from birth to 14. For the smaller kids, they just need to be read to. The bigger kids can read on their own. The reward for finishing is a pass to point to find Zoom frame along with some other special treats that kids get as they go along. How many of you feel that reading is important? You can be in good company. In researching the importance of reading, I found the more young children are read to, the greater their interest in mastery. Reading out loud exposes children to proper grammar and phrasing. It enhances the development of their spoken language skills, their ability to express themselves verbally. To come to public library this year is also offering an adult reading program because it is important to model good behavior. If you read five books over the summer, you are entered to win a color and a cookie reader. And because exercise is important too, Metro Parks offers a fun way to cool off on a hot summer day, the spray park. Metro Parks boasts five spray parks Five parks with spray parks. Ten parks offer summer programs. Nine of those ten parks offer free lunch to the kids that are there on a first come, first serve basis. They also offer an adventure bus to multiple destinations. On Fridays in July, there's family nights at the park. They come out, they have different activities set up for the families. They can spend the evening doing it. Friday nights in August are movie nights. They bring out a large inflatable movie screen. You bring your blankets and your lawn chairs and some snacks, and you sit down and get to watch a movie. Um, the best thing about each and every one of these activities is that they're free, so there's no cost to it. Now that I've told you about some great hikes, and I've told you about some Metro Parks programs, and I've told you about the library programs, I'm going to tell you about 
some museums. Who doesn't enjoy Dave's museum, right? What makes an enriching Dave's museum even better? How about when it's free? The Museum of Glass, the Washington State History Museum, and the Tacoma Art Museum all offer a free third Thursday of each month. What is really great about all three of these museums is they're within walking distance of each other. And if you don't want to park downtown in Tacoma, you want to avoid that situation, one of the best things you can do is park at Tacoma Drum Station, take a leap light rail downtown. Both of these things are free. Um, if you want to be in Seattle, then head down the first Thursday of the month and enjoy museums like the Museum of Flight, the Seattle Art Museum, the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture, and the Seattle Asian Art Museum, just to name a few. Unfortunately, because it is Seattle, you'll have to pay for parking. But if that's all you're paying for, it's really a fun economical day. Um, in the packet as well, at the back, there's a listing of the uh, museums in the area and their addresses, phone numbers, and the hours that they're open and the days in the country. Today, I've shared with you some great local hikes, summer reading and playground programs, and, local, and deals at local museums for a fun summer that's easy on your pocket. I hope that now that I've shared this, you'll get out there and enjoy the summer.